So the idea of polemic elements is uh, the foundation for three other concepts that I'm going to want you to apply to the works. Now, I'm not going to necessarily force you to uh, apply each one of these concepts to each work, uh, but I'm going to want you to use one of them in terms of interpreting uh, the bigger picture of what's happening in literature. Okay. The first thing that I'm going to discuss with you is going to be uh, the Hegelian synthesis. The Hegelian synthesis was thought up by a guy named Frederick Hegel. He was an Austrian-German uh, theologian slash mathematician slash uh, philosopher. And he basically said that everything that exists in the world, everything that exists uh, as a thesis, has something that's antithetical to it. So that uh, a thesis and an antithesis are incongruent with each other. You know, incongruent basically means not equal to each other. And quite often it means that they're opposing each other. And so every thesis, everything that exists, has something that naturally opposes it, an antithesis. And what he said, he said that these two things, you know, that oppose each other, they come together and form something new. And when they form that new thing, that new thing is called synthesis. This idea of synthesis, when it comes into existence, it has its own antithetical uh, opposing force as well that it's incongruent with. And so those two things come together and form something new. And then when that thing comes into existence, it has its own antithetical uh, force as well. And those come together and it keeps going and going and going and going and going and going and going. And so taking the polemic elements that you identified before, I want you to apply the Hegelian synthesis to Beowulf in such a manner to show that there was some new form of consciousness being uh, created. And I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example of what I mean by um, synthesis in cultures, okay? Culture, culture is defined by a variety of things. Food, uh, food, music, art, dance, um, clothes, region, language, religion. It's a variety of things, okay? Most of y'all, uh, I'm going to assume, and if I'm wrong, just make the assumption with me, okay? Make the assumption with me. We'll jump off the cliff and we'll make our wings on the way down, okay? Most of us live here along the border. We're between Mexico and America. Mexico and America are very different cultures, or have very different cultures. Uh, Mexico celebrates different holidays. It speaks a different language. It has different food. It has different dress, different art. Same thing with America. Now, if you're Mexican, you can have a quinceanera. You know, a quinceanera, you can have that sweet 15, not even a sweet 15. It's just a 15 party. But in America, it's not a 15, like a quinceanera, it's sweet 16. So you can see a difference there. In Mexico, it's 16 de septiembre, which is, you know, the day of uh, their version of July 4th versus the American version of July, uh, July 4th. And so, you know, if you're deeply rooted in Mexico and Mex uh, Mexico is the basis of your culture, there's certain holidays, certain foods, certain things uh, that are part of your culture that aren't American. Now, if you're American, same thing. However, here along the border, we're stuck between. We're stuck between these two things. We're stuck just like that thesis and that antithesis. And because of that, it's come together and it's formed a Mexican-American. In terms of a Mexican-American, you can do the quinceanera, or you can do the sweet 16, or you can do both. You can do Cinco de Mayo, which really isn't a day of liberation, but you can do Cinco de Mayo and celebrate the Mexican roots, and you can do Thanksgiving. Mexico doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving. And so, as you can see, you know, we're, well, not we're, but at least I'll say I am uh, part of that synthesis. I'm part of those two competing cultures that have come together to form something new. Find that in Beowulf. Show how you see those two competing things and how that's showing us the cutting edge of new expression. Post that on your discussion boards or on your discussion assignment under uh, my assignments and then reply to at least one person. Uh, for this, I do want at least one paragraph and I do want quotes. I do want you to show me a quote showing uh, the polemic elements and a quote of you interpreting and theorizing how this is a rising consciousness.